Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, go ahead and make sure you like, subscribe, comment. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know what the fuck going on. Yeah, just go ahead, like the video. I fuck with y'all, y'all know what it is. Welcome. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's get straight into this video. I ain't gonna waste y'all time because I don't like my time wasted. Even though I ramble a lot, I ain't gonna waste y'all time. Um, so if you want to see my review on this mix bar fragrance number 11 and what is it glass rose just keep on watching all right y'all so I went to TJ Maxx like day before yesterday yesterday I can't remember I don't know girl anyway so yeah so either way it go <laughs> they had a lot of stuff on sale because y'all know Christmas season everybody go through get the last minute gifts and everything and the ones that they had left over they put that red tag on it so it looked like originally it was ten dollars though so uh, girl just a dollar off so I got this for eight dollars this is a 1.7 fluid ounce once again this is a mixed bar fragrance um, Let's see, the top, it just shows the definition of mix and bar. I ain't gonna read it because I don't really care that much. And then I didn't look up the scent notes. Um, so yeah, we'll try to look it up on Fragrantica and I'll put it on the screen right here for y'all, if y'all care. Um, what else I was gonna say? I have never tried a mixed bar scent in the perfume. Now, I do have a body mist still in my closet to this day like I got it literally years ago and I still have it because it's one of those scents that it's not really I mean it's it's a mix mixable scent like it's not one of those scents that I wear on its own I have to mix it so it's just a body mix but anyway so this is her this is how the box look and I, I had to change the ring like color because for some reason I like it I like this I don't know Okay, let's open it. I don't have any fragrance on today. Got out the shower, put my Dove body oil on, the baby one. And that's unscented, so yeah. That's why I'm kinda a little bit glistening. But let's just spray this one. This is the bottle, classic, frosted. You know, you know what it is. All right. I'm just gonna spray this all over me because this, this honestly is gonna be my scent of the day. Might do a body mist with it, might not. I don't know. So we're gonna over spray. Okay, first impression is definitely uh, smelling like a, I want to say an artificial rose. Um, it kind of smells like something I have in my closet. Not not like a, a body mist or anything. Or it may be a body, I don't know. Probably a perfume. Probably the Tahari uh, Rose perfume that I have, but it's like more elevated. Definitely an artificial rose, but I like how bold it is, if, if you get what I'm kind of saying. Also kind of smell a little bit soapy, which I like. So it's like a soapy rose scent. Um, the rose is dominant. If you don't like roses, like floral type scents when it comes to rose, then I, you know, you may not like it. But for me, I like it. It's girly. I'm scared about the longevity though. Like I, you know, I always kind of get nervous when it comes to certain scents um, and perfumes because they really don't be lasting. And uh, I don't want to have to always over spray every two hours. Like I, I'm an over sprayer anyway, but I don't want to over spray like within one to two hours of me already putting the fragrance on or less. So we're gonna have to come back and update and see if it's like. If it's long lasting, does it project nice? Um, all I'm pretty much gonna be in the crib today, so I'm not going anywhere, but let me see if I can smell anything else. Yeah, main thing I'll smell is that rose. It's something else in there that make it kind of smell soapy and clean. So it's a clean rose scent, best way of explaining it. I also will include scent look looks that I would wear with this perfume. Um, would I la layer this? I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't pair this with a body mist. I don't think I want to do that. I want to like let this perfume do what it's supposed to do. So if anything, I pair with a lotion. But like I said, I'm not going to add anything else because I want to see if this stays on my clothes or stays on my skin longer uh, than one or two hours or less. So we're going to have to see what it's giving. I think it's a good purchase because it was $8. What I have spent like when it first came out, I want to say they kind of range from like $20 or $18, one of them. What I had spent it, I mean I would have spent it to try it, but um, I don't feel like it's worth $20. Like I'm glad I only got it for $8 and it's a 1.7 ounce. I don't know. I mean it's not bad. Don't, don't get me wrong y'all. It's not bad. But I don't know. I Like I told y'all in a previous video of my, like I'm, I'm trying to get into more of the like the niche fragrances so y'all will be seeing more of those type of scents coming up because I really want me a signature scent now I feel like for me my signature scent as of now is gonna is um Ariana Grande Cloud or what else do I wear like Ariana Grande Cloud or when I have the YSL um Libre perfume now that one I need to get that again but other than that like I don't I don't think I have a signature scent y'all that's sad that's, that's disappointing I feel like every woman every lady every girl should have a signature scent and um I don't have one so maybe I need to kind of just go more perfume shopping and see what really just does it for me I also want to get a couple more replica scents For some reason I can't find the one I just got like yeah, I'm so disorganized. It don't make no damn sense. But yeah, um, as far as this scent, rating wise, mm, one out of ten. I like it. I'm not gonna bullshit around it. I like it. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I give it a seven out of ten because it's it's likable. It's safe for the girls that's like new to scents, and you know, if if you think that rose is a decent scent to smell like, then I I definitely feel like you can do it. I feel like it's also um season wise i will wear this in the spring summer and the winter i mean i mean i guess for the most part you can wear it any season but for me like i kind of when it comes to fall and winter i like cozy scents um but you definitely can wear this one it's definitely a spring scent be careful though because I feel like with this scent smelling like rose even though it's an artificial rose it's strong be careful if you got a lot of bees around the area like like that's what makes me nervous when it comes to floral scents I they already get attracted by the smell of perfume and body mist anyway but when you smell like a flower girl run run but yeah I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, like I said, I'll add the lookbook to this scent. Very dainty, very girly. Um, it's not my vibe right now. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not my vibe right now. I'm more so in the cozy um, sense, you know. But yeah. Alright, y'all. So that was my video on this, you know, number 11 mix bar perfume. I also want to try that. It's a vanilla one. I think it's a vanilla one. I want to try the one that everybody always talks about like it's like in a tan type bottle tan cream color bottle y'all know which one I'm talking about and then also if you have a certain fragrance that you want me to try drop it in the comments and I'm gonna try to go get it so we can review it and yeah but thank y'all for coming back to my channel make sure you like subscribe comment and I will be doing more videos on this channel period